So we had a bit of a sigh of relief across markets with the Woodside deal, but this could also potentially add more volatility. Yeah, we knew it was coming. Uh, it was always There was always the potential for it, but the key here is possibility. Um, negotiations are ongoing. Chevron says, look, it's working through the bargaining process as well. But what we had was yesterday afternoon, 500 workers voting in favour of industrial action. Mm. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but now the option is on the table. And it may not be a strike either. It could be a stop work. It could be workers refusing to perform certain tasks and if it does happen there'd be seven days notice first so the earliest there'd be strike action would be September the 7th. Now as you mentioned Woodside did reach a deal just last week so there's optimism that Chevron could achieve something similar here. So Paul what's the likely impact on global gas markets? Well, it will be less than the threat of what uh, might have happened had the Woodside workers gone out. Uh, Woodside uh, contributes about 11 per cent of the total global LNG supply. Chevron a little bit less, uh, 5 to 7 per cent, depending on who's doing the maths here. Uh, now, there are a few mitigating factors. Of course, Europe uh, doesn't directly import gas from Australia, but Asia does. So if that supply were to dry up, uh, we'd have uh, Asian bidders uh, bidding alongside European buyers, uh, sparking the potential for a, for a bidding war. Uh, but uh, gas supplies or uh, stockpiles in Europe are at a seasonal high. Uh, we also have weakness in China, so the demand picture has eased a little bit there. So the risk of shortage this time around is somewhat reduced, uh, but we are still anticipating a bit of volatility ahead for those gas prices again.